Hey guys, Main here. Welcome back to Y'all's Fitness. I'm joined with Jerry. We're going to go over a cardiovascular exercise. can be used for many, many things. I think it's probably, you'd say it's like the most easy to do cardio exercise with like no equipment, no space. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, so. full body as well. Like, you know what I think was like high knees are really good too? Yeah, and burpees, but they're too tired. tired. Yeah, okay, yeah, burpees is, is, <laughs> is maximum effort per repetition, yeah. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a few versions of the jumping jack, uh, and I'll give you guys some uh, progressions, and then Jerry will do some. If you have, like, a cool one you know, uh, let me know if you got one. I don't have one. You don't got one? Okay, that's all right. I'll show you a few cool ones then, okay? I'll start. Uh, first things first, with a jumping jack, you need to have good control of your landing mechanics. Uh, I just, there's a lot of names for this exercise. Uh, but I just call it like a catch valve, you know, just dropping into it. So uh, I'm going to go onto my toes. I'm going to spread my legs out, and I'm catching my weight. The idea is when I land, it should be impactless. I should be almost silent when I land. So I go onto my toes, I park my feet, and I land, okay? I actually got this from Soviet weightlifting, so I quite honestly do not know the name of it in English. Uh, if you guys do, let me know in the comments below. Um, but I go onto my toes, I park my leg, and I catch. From there on, that's just the mechanics of a, of a jumping jack, right? I just start from this position. I give myself a little jump, and I go open my arms and part my legs and catch myself. And I return immediately back into that position. Really important, I don't want to hear a big slamming motion. I want to hit the floor and I just slowly come back. I want that elasticity of the movement. So I just touch, return, touch, return, touch, return, touch, return. Okay? get you on to you don't have to do the the balance at the start if you don't want to okay, okay? let's go beautiful form good cadence i'm looking to see he lands evenly on his feet there should be no pain good rhythmic breathing and he's able to change his position on the move fantastic good five seconds four three two beautiful amazing really good jumping jacks uh, you got a few variations with the jumping jacks you can do. Uh, like you got like front jacks where it looks really goofy. But instead of going like this with it, you split the arms and the legs together like so. You look like you're a robot doing karate chops. I've seen like uh, squat and jump jacks. I like that as well. So you got some crazy versions you can do. But typically speaking, good old jumping jacks, fantastic exercise. You can do it for time. You can do them in a uh, cardiovascular circuit, or you can have it in a hit interval routine, right? So maybe you do something on the bike, like a salt bike, you get off of it, 30 seconds of jumping jack, whatever. I think uh, if you're a beginner too, really, really useful exercise. It teaches you a lot of essential skills in athleticism with uh, not a lot of impact, you say, right? It's yeah. pretty easy. Yeah, very easy on legs. Compare it to like, yeah, burpees is one that's really hard. I think burpees are very hard on the... The joints if you're not used to it would you agree with me yeah i'd say so yeah and you still get that jump that you do in the burpee that you know you, you know you get a little bit transitionary uh movement there um i see people actually combine the burpees and the jumping jacks so you do the full burpee and on the way up you do a jumping jack so that's pretty intense but uh otherwise very simple exercise very very useful anyone can do it mostly if you have space and you got room and your legs are able to move okay we'll see you guys next time you like anything no. That's it. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much.